What's up? I'm back in the shed. It's been way too cold to make videos, but here's another one for you. I have a lot of big news. Like, I got a new guitar! This is a Yamaha FG800, and it's much, much bigger than my other one, which is a Little Martin. So I'll actually be able to play some different stuff. The Little Martin was kind of limiting. I couldn't really tune it down very far. Uh, so this one might be pretty good. I gotta get some pickups, pickups installed in it. I'm putting some LR bags, uh, sound hold pickups in it, which ought to be pretty sweet. I gotta do that next weekend, hopefully. And this will probably be the one that you start seeing in my shows. Also, I got this stabilizer a while back. So maybe this will improve my uh, covers a little bit if I can get it to work. Um, it's a Yolongu S60T. Uh, knockoff, but it uh, seems to work pretty well. I got it all counterbalanced on here, and I'm gonna try and start shooting my covers with it. It's got kind of a learning curve to it. My last cover was shot with this. Uh, my pregnant wife Kayla got down in a drainage ditch and was trying to operate this thing, and it was it helped a little bit, but uh, all I wanted to do was swing back and forth like this. So that explains why that video looks like that. If you guys would like to know. Uh, <clears throat> Also, she doesn't listen. Come here. This is Luna. Luna, say hi. She was, she was a puppy like two weeks ago, and now she's like 30 pounds. It's a Great Pyrenees, and uh, I got her for Kayla for Christmas. She's freaking huge. She thinks she's still a puppy, but she's like not puppy worthy. She's massive, and she's only gonna get bigger. They say they get up to like 120 pounds. So, guys, this is Luna. Okay, you want to go? All right. A puppy and a toddler at the same time has been really fun. Uh, I think we just got her potty trained, so uh, I'm basically having two. And there she goes with something out of the shed. I don't know what she took, but I won't ever see it again. February 8th, I'm going to be in the Red Brick Bar in Norman. That'll be the first time that I play originals during a show. Um, that ate a show as Cowdy was uh, all covers. So uh, come check that out. I'm going to be playing Into the Woods and Long Way Down for the first time live. We're closing in on February, which is the release month for As a Creature of Temperature. Right now I have two release shows booked. One of them, February 23rd, the Friday of the release at the Woodward Arts Theater here in town. Um, that'll be the first time that I ever play in my hometown as the headliner. And it'll be the first time that anyone ever hears the originals from As a Creature of Temperature live. Um, I'm playing all the way through the album except for one song uh, just because it doesn't have a set tempo and it's going to be really hard to do without a full band. It's going to be by far the best show I have ever put on in my entire career. So don't miss that. It's going to be pretty amazing. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm working really hard to make that a, uh, an amazing event. So if you'd like to be some of the first to ever hear as a creature of temperature in, in its entirety live, then you should come out to the Woodward Arts Theater February 23rd, Friday. I'm going to hang out after the show with some CDs, some download stickers, some show posters, and a Sharpie. You know, I can sign whatever you want. I'll sign your face if you want. I don't know if anybody's interested in that. I'm not that famous yet, but you know, I'll sign anything you want. So I have all my backing tracks finished. Um, I want to do a Facebook live video here pretty soon. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how that's going to work exactly. I don't know if I want to do it out here because my internet connection isn't super great, but if I can, I really want to do a Facebook live video. So we'll see how that goes. After the Woodward show, I'm going to do a CD release show in Ada at Vintage 22, February 24th, that Saturday, the, the night after. 
Same thing there for everybody that lives a little farther to the south. If you want to be some of the first ones to ever hear these songs play live, I wouldn't miss that. Vintage 22 is one of my favorite places to play in Oklahoma, if not the, if not the best, in my opinion. And I'm very excited for that show. Afterwards, in early March, I'm probably going to be doing another open mic night at A Touch of Home. Um, if you live here in Woodward, be on the lookout for that. You should come out and play some of your own songs. I want to meet all the musicians in Woodward. I don't really know anybody here. Um, I know of two bands off the top of my head, um, and I've already you know, met with them several times. I know them pretty well, but that's it. I don't know anybody else here in town that plays music um, you know, professionally or seriously. So come out and show me your stuff. You can play covers or originals or whatever. I also have two remixes in the works for the two singles that I have out right now, um, Into the Woods and Long Way Down. I still have yet to have those distributed, but I should have those out pretty soon. Um, and I love them. One of them is kind of like a chill step uh, on Into the Woods. And the other one for Long Way Down is just a little more intense, uh, but they're both really amazing. Um, I'm glad that I was able to find remix artists that I actually liked. So that's pretty much all that's going on with me right now. Um, please pre-order as a creature of temperature as soon as you can. Um, the thing that th about that is uh, with music sales, once you put out an album, the first week is basically everything. So if you pre-order my album before the release date, February 23rd, it counts for that first week sales and that will increase the success of the album over its entire lifetime. So if you like what I'm doing and you like my stuff and you plan on getting the album, now would be the time to do that. That will help me afford to print the CDs and that will also help the first week sales and like I said that will help the success of the album in its entire lifetime. So you can find a pre-order on iTunes on cowrie.bandcamp.com, uh, cowrieband.com slash shop. Uh, you can pre-order it at any of those locations and that will help me tremendously. The more albums I have pre-ordered, the more shows I can do, the more stuff I can make, I can make more vinyls, I can do more merchandise like t-shirts. Um, so like I said, if you like what I do, please go check that out. I would really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much for all that you've done for me so far, and I hope you have a good day.